right. So we've got mean value theorem, which is the less specific version of roles. We've got a function continuous on A and B and differentiable on A and B. Then, copy and paste error here, sorry, this is roles theorem. So getting rid of this. So if I'm continuous and differentiable, then there's got to be a point C such that the derivative of F at C, so this basically means the slope of the tangent is equal to the slope of the secant. So summing this up, we would have slope of tangent equals slope of secant. All right, so let's apply this to show that sine of b minus sine a is less than or equal to b minus a. Well, this looks really quite similar to this. So we'll start by saying that we let f of x be sine x. So I know that sine x is continuous and differentiable for all x. Therefore, for sure, uh, by mean value theorem, there is some x that's element of AB such that f prime of c is f of b minus f of a divide by b minus a. Well, f prime of c, derivative of sine is cosine. So we've got cosine of c equal to sine of b minus sine of a over b minus a. If I absolute value both sides, right now I could say that this whole thing is in between negative 1 and 1. If I take the absolute value, then my function will be, be between 0 and 1. And I can move my b minus a to the other side. less than or equal to absolute value of b minus a. I was hesitating because I was thinking about the putting my 0 on the left hand side here and saying that 0 is greater than this, is greater than this. But in that case, when I multiply by b minus a to the other side, I would still have 0 here. And that doesn't matter because this will still be less than or equal to my b minus a.